Hi everyone, this is Camila Mesa. Thank you so much for joining the Some First solo sessions. I'm very thankful to be a part of this series and this initiative to keep the music going during these times. Um, I definitely miss you all, uh, my friends in LA and, and also everywhere. I know that now we're fully connected, so there's people joining from uh, not only LA, so hello to all of you. I hope you enjoy the music tonight. And um, I started the set with a song called Harvesting Under the Moon. And it's a song that it's part of a, a larger group of songs that I wrote as a commission for the Jazz Gallery in New York in around two years ago. And I'm going to be playing some of those songs. They're still fresh. <laughs> they still haven't been recorded. And it's been a great opportunity also to develop a solo approach to these songs too. So that was Harvesting Under the Moon. And I would like to continue now with a song that it's part of my older songs. But I would like to play it... Uh, a little bit differently, a little bit more in this intimate vibe. Uh, this is a song that I, I <clears throat> wrote uh, several years ago now, but it, it's the song that gives the name to my previous to last album. It's called Traces, and this is the intimate version of it. I hope you enjoy it. i mm -hmm. 
These next two songs I'd like to play for you are also part of Portal. And I'd like to play them one after the other one because they really represent very well what I was envisioning at the moment of writing this piece. I imagined exactly that and I, the idea of a portal, of a process at, of transformation. I was already back in at the end of 2018 and beginning to 2019, I was already feeling um, a sense of collective awareness and collective experience. Like there was something that we were about to live together as a human family that was going to be really challenging and that was going to make us look at ourselves and question our ways of living but that ultimately that pain or that uncomfortableness that could come from witnessing our own weaknesses would make us go through that process and allow us to to be in a position where we can make decisions and create a brighter future. So the first tune is called Deeper Blue and it's the beginning of the piece so it em embodies that darkness, that space that I'm talking about. Um, the second song is called Transmutation. So that's the place where there's space for transformation, for becoming better and for allowing ourselves to go into a brighter space. So here we go. Stay in the shade 
were scared You asked me to surrender I knew that life was frail You always found a reason Let visions go astray You asked me to surrender I knew that I'd regret You asked me to surrender This time was like a cancer We could not let in vain You hope we wouldn't wake up To a story of a change There's fire in the roots now There's movement in our veins In our veins
I'd like to take this moment to encourage you guys to donate to the tip jar. If you can, please do. Um, the tip jar, you can find it at somefirstbar.com. And as you may know or you may not know, but we are actually um, sharing the revenue from your tips tonight with the bar staff um, who would be working tonight if we were live and relying on those tips so um, this is a great way to support the stuff uh, to support the artists and I hope you can do so if you're able to and we are always appreciative <laughs> Holes beneath the moment to shine, the moment. 
garden slowly comes alive And the wild in me begins to smile She feels the warmth of her child in her arms Like a bright cord that connects in time With all the spirits that have come to life That was The Nurturer, and I'd like to follow up now with a song that's a very new song. It's a song that I found in my memo voices recently. I was in the search of unfinished songs, and then I ran into this song, and I, first of all, I loved the melody, and then I started listening to it, and I realized um, that it, it kind of like started making sense. Um, there's something that I love doing where I just sit down with my guitar and start improvising and sort of just go with like the flow of the consciousness and and that's partly how I write a lot of songs but because it, it, it helps me like cleanse in a way and understand some thoughts or or emotions that might be unprocessed um, and then when I put them into music, the, it, it all sort of start making more sense. So this song was one of those, and it's one of the songs, those songs that um, I barely had to edit anything. Uh, I changed a couple of songs, <laughs> a couple of words, sorry. And but after after I I reread and 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 reanalyzed what like the words most of the words were i started understanding that it could talk about the current state of living like and the confusion that it can bring and the questionings and especially for for if you, like in the experience of isolation you know of like having to to see reality from from a very you know from from very far and 
and having that monotony or or that lack of human connection and it it I think it started <clears throat> to make sense that way <clears throat> uh, I haven't titled this song yet but uh, I think it could be called persist <laughs> And 
more precious with you and so let's have some I hope you've been enjoying the music. I thank you all so much for connecting with us and for joining us. Um, I want to remind you to please donate if you haven't done so uh, at somefirstbar.com. We are gathering tips from the audience uh, that we'll share with staff and we always appreci appreciate your support. We are trying to keep the music alive. So thank you so much to Some First for creating this moment and to Dave for the invitation. And I would like to tell you what's coming up because there's concerts every Thursday. And they are amazing lineups. So on Thursday, March 18th, you have Mark Turner with Myra Sprague, David Rowe Burr and Jonathan Pinson. And then the next Thursday, March 25th, Anthony Funk Trio with Paul Cornish and Luca Alemano. Um, so don't miss this concert. This um, is a great initiative and you guys are supporting the music in these really hard times. So thank you so much again. <coughs> I'd like to finish this concert with a, a song that I love. It's a song by the great Milton Nascimento, a Brazilian uh, composer and this is a song that I recorded on my last album called Ambar and I hope you enjoy it and I encourage you to also go check out the original and check out Milton Nascimento 
And once again, thank you so much. Uh, I hope to, to have uplifted your day and to make you feel a little better during this time. So uh, have a great night and see you soon. Bye bye. Eu vejo esses peixes, se voam de coração. Vejo essas matas, se voam de coração. A natureza. Coloridas, de crianças coloridas, de um gênio televisor. E no ardor de nossos novos santos, o sinal de velhos tempos. Morte, morte, morte ao amor. Eles não falam do mar e dos peixes. Nem vejam ver a moça pura canção. Nem ver nascer a flor, nem ver nascer o sol. Eu apenas sou. Uma mais, uma mais A falar de essa dor A nossa dor yeah, yeah.